my name is Ann Shields. I've been with the company for 33 years. And my quote unquote official title is Executive Vice President and CCO, which stands for Chief Customer Officer. Um, I don't know that, that I ever have a regular work day. You know, it's, um, it varies. Um, I wear many different hats at Universal. And so most of the days I spend talking with clients about their business and about how to help them grow it. The other thing that I do that takes a lot of time is I really keep my hands in the media. And the reason behind that is it's all the media. You really have to be have a clear understanding of what media is all about and how it reacts with other mediums so that you can not only work with your team in the company, but also with our clients and how that helps them to grow. I would say that my days are very busy, but they're rewarding. Um, I would say probably for me, it's the relationships. Um, they're very personal to me. Um, so with, when we go and work with a client, we're almost part of their internal structure. So it really gets down to the people though. It's about what, who their families are, what their history is, what their ideals are. And so to me, that is by far the best part of my job. I would say it's probably two things. Number one, it's the culture. And number two, it's the people. We have exceptional people um, that come to work for us. And one of the things that Universal Media allows us to do is to always think outside of the box. Um, how are you going to do things better? How are you going to do them differently? Um, what is, what is it that you can do to help our company to grow? The culture, as I mentioned to you, being so different at Universal is what allows us to wear so many hats because I've been with the company for so long. That's why I wear all the hats that I do. You have to have your hands in everything and understand really what the business is all about so that you can understand how things work, and how you can help your clients to really grow. So I would say probably mentoring. Um, I, I've learned a lot, but I learn something new every day. Um, but I like to take what I've learned and teach it to the people that I work with. You know, um, it's about talking about how to um, interact with our clients, how to interact with people. I've always tried to lead by example. And so I didn't, never expect from our employees, the people that I work with, not for, no one works for me, but works with me. I treat them the same way as I wanna be treated. And that is really part of what I, I want to be teaching these people. The other thing that's really important to me is I give back a lot to the community. I think that's so important and it doesn't matter what you do, but giving back to the community is important. And again, I try to lead by example, and it's not just about writing a check because obviously tithing is very important, but for me, it's about the actual committing to volunteer to do the work that is so rewarding for me and that I hope that I can share that enthusiasm with our employees, interns, whoever. You know, it's really funny, as you mentioned, we have a lot of really young people at our office and they're so incredibly bright when you look at that whole digital technology helm. And, um, but I think that the opportunity for, for me is, although I don't know those type of mediums the way they do, number one, it's learning from them. But more importantly, it's about taking everything that we know about the business and teaching it to them. Because with both pieces, you're able to really create some phenomenal opportunities. Um, 
history repeats itself. And there's so much about what we've done in the first 25, 30 years that our young people don't know about. As they come in, we are really able to take all of their knowledge and kind of marry it with what we have to going on in our company so that we can really make some outstanding opportunities for our clients. I find a lot of things inspirational. So um, prior to COVID, I was not a big podcast listener. And I find podcasts that are inspirational to be amazing. Um, some of my favorites, because I listen and I feel like I really learn from them, are Mini Questions, which is hosted by Mini Driver, uh, the Rachel Hollis podcast, um, the Happiness Lab, and of course, my favorite, Grit and Gravitas hosted by my two favorite aunts. <laughs>